So as I stated some months ago, with Tyson Fury retired, Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk fight for the lineal title. Uh, Tyson Fury retired what, months ago. He just confirmed his retirement by vacating the ring belt. And I think the WBC, or he's about to vacate it, or he's about to be stripped. I remember a um, bit of a tangent, not really. When Pacquiao beat Timothy Bradley for the third time and intimated or said that he's retiring in the ring during the in-ring interview, uh, the Transnational Boxing Board, which is supposed to be, you know, the hipster website that, that's legit and that, you know, keeps track of the real champions, um, they stripped Pacquiao of the mythical lineal title that he won in that fight against Timothy Bradley, not realizing how they would fuck themselves. Um, <laughs> because had they not done that, right, uh, Terrence Crawford would have been the lineal, um, the lineal title holder, right, at welterweight. He would be the man, right? He, he'd have, he'd be able to call himself, you know, he'd have a claim. Yeah, he would be the man, the man to beat anyway. Um, but, you know, had they had they known that, right? Shout out to Teddy Atlas, who's, I guess, the head honcho or the token um, analyst at Transnational. Had they known this, right, they would not have stripped Pacquiao. <laughs> I guarantee you that. But be that as it may, you know, when the lineal champion does retire, right, we establish a new lineage. We have the number one and the number two guy fight for the lineal title, right? That's how it's always been done. And if you change uh, the lineal rules, right? Well, it's no longer fucking lineal, is it? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. Anyway, you know, Tyson Fury retired months ago. Uh, he just confirmed his retirement. And the transnational, right, the hipsters that are supposed to be so unbiased and, you know, they're supposed to keep track of real champions and shit. They still have Tyson Fury as uh, the lineal champion, right? He just confirmed it and they still have him as the lineal champion. So it is what it is. And what it is is Alexander Usyk is the number one, right, with Fury out right now. He's the number one heavyweight in the world and... Anthony and Joshua is the number two guy, right? Who else? All these other guys that are on the come up, well, they're on the come up, right? They don't really, they don't get a say in this, right? They haven't proved themselves yet. Uh, the only other guy that proved something was Deontay Wilder, right? And what he proved was that he can't beat, he couldn't beat Tyson Fury in three fights. And it's coming off two stoppage losses uh, to Tyson Fury, right? So, well, he can't be number two. He can't be number three, right? Joshua's coming off one loss. So, and he just had, you know, three of the four major belts. So, Usyk has them now, right? He's the number one guy. And logically, right, I would think reasonably, Anthony Joshua is number two. And the two of them are fighting for the lineal title, right? Um, to me, and I guess time will tell if um, if I still feel this way in the future, but the Cyber Boxing Zone have kept track of the lineal champions longer than anybody else, at least on the internet, and they're still doing it, right? So all these Johnny come lately, all these newcomers, uh, insofar as I'm concerned, can go fuck themselves. Um, the Cyber Boxing Zone has always, um, they've been around for decades now, right? Keeping track of the lineal champions, and insofar as I can tell, uh, being consistent, right? I'm not saying that some of their picks or claims aren't necessarily controversial, but, you know... Who gives a shit, right? Who gives a shit? Anyway, so, yeah. Now that Tyson Fury is retired, 
good riddance. Uh, I guess he doesn't think Anthony Joshua will beat Usyk. Maybe he saw some of that training footage with Usyk looking big and maybe hoping for a knockout in this upcoming fight. And uh, decided to GTFO right before he hinted um, or right after he hinted at cherry picking um, <laughs> Derek Chisora for that trilogy that uh, everyone's been uh, yearning for. Anyway, yeah, I mean, you guys let me know who's who's number one, right? It has to be Usyk. Who's number two? Besides Anthony Joshua, who who has a claim for number two? Nobody, right? It's for the lineal title. Thanks for watching.